Hey guys, Ali Tech here, and today we've got iOS 13, so another release at WWDC. It's not a uh, release, it's actually an announcement. So this will be released in September ish with the new iPhones. So um, on here it just says it's coming fall, which is autumn. So a, a whole new look on a whole new level. iOS 13 introduces a bold new look, major updates, and whatever, faster performance. All right, so we've got this really cool animation here. So dark mode finally on iPhone, and it has took a long time for Apple to make, but they've done it really, really well. Um, it's better than any other Android dark mode and whatever. And they did kind of teases with Mac dark mode and the smart invert on iPhone as well. So dark mode, dramatic new look for iPhone, thoughtfully designed to make every element on the screen easier on your eyes and is seamlessly integrated throughout the system. And it's simple to turn on from control center or set to automatically turn on at night. So you can set it to automatically turn on and stuff. And it, and it, there is also a thingy in the control center to turn it on. So photos and camera, you got port ray lighting control, create the look you want by changing the intensity of light in port ray lighting. And you got high key mono and stuff. So you got really nice photos now, just as always from iPhones. Even nicer. Curated view of your best moments from every day, month and yeah, this is what I talked about in the Mac video, the Mac OS Catalina video. So um just the photos tab in the actual photos app so you can see it years, months and days and Apple is focusing on a lot in iOS 13. It's quite a few changes. Just there isn't a whole like there isn't an a whole UI design redesign, redesigned editing, powerful video editing, every nearly every tool and effect you use on on your photos can be used on videos, including rotate crop and auto enhance. So if I don't read some of this, you can read yourself pause on the video. So privacy and security. We got sign in with Apple now. A simple way to sign in to apps and websites that you that respects your privacy. So you got sign in with Apple or sign with email on the app, which is bad and whatever it is. And so in, introducing camera storage designed around security and privacy. So security cameras. If we've got security cameras at home, you can uh uh, I don't know what photo security cameras work with this right now, but it's um it'll say somewhere down here. It doesn't actually say, but um I watched the event so you can actually um connect it with HomeKit, and instead of like sending your videos and stuff and data to the servers for for to the servers that belong to whichever security camera company you use, it will actually send it. It won't actually send it anywhere. It'll actually be processed in your own house on your actual phone or iPad and stuff. And it'll uh, to detect like motion and everything. So it'll, it'll just all, all be protest, processed at your, at your house. And you can see and it'll give you notifications. So Apple's really big on privacy this year, especially in iOS. So new maps, you got really nice new maps view here. So I'll show you that again. All right, so a new map reveals more detail about the world around you. So you got favorites and collections and everything, and you got Siri, new Siri voice. It does. It is actually really, really good. This new Siri voice. I don't know if I can play it for you, but um, it sounds much more realistic now, and they've actually like redone it. They actually showed us in the event how they redone it all. Um, so you got more post personalization on the home pod, series shortcuts, and everything. So um, you can uh, home pod now works with family members. So, if your wife, and so if you've got a wife and um, and, um, so if your wife asks your home pod a question, it'll personalize the answer for your wife. So um. Like any reminders or anything, it'll go onto her phone and check. It'll go onto her iCloud and check for it. But if you ask, it'll recognize your voice and go onto your iCloud and check for it. Or the other way around or whatever. Announce messages on AirPods so you can, uh, so you can actually read incoming messages. And uh, also audio sharing so you can use two AirPods at once instead of having them horrible headphone splitters and whatever. 
that you can't use with AirPods because they're wireless. So Memoji, you got new Memojis and you got Memoji stickers. And um, Memoji is actually a lot more detailed now. A lot more detailed. And of course you got new Animoji as well. To share your name and photo and messages. So messages are more like WhatsApp. And you got quick pass typing, which is just swipe typing. So all new reminders app. That's what it looks like. Quite good. Um Alright. Quick toolbar. Just on the there on the, the keyboard. Smart lists and everything. CarPlay, so you got a new car pay, uh, CarPlay dashboard. So this is a picture of it in Mercedes E Class actually. Um so instead of having the home button it's just got this button to take you back to the actual like home page at the bottom left here and it is i don't know if it's totally redesigned but uh carplay does have some quick pretty big updates this year as well a new calendar app new apple music app all within carplay performance Faster unlock, our face ID is thirty percent faster, and apps will launch up to two times faster and be smaller in download size. So there it is. Um. So iOS thirteen, iOS twelve was quite a bit faster compared to iOS eleven, and I'm pretty sure they did make face ID a little bit faster as well. But um, in iOS thirteen, they made it. They made the phone even more faster, and. So iPhones, this is why iPhones are actually really good. Android seem to get slower after a couple of months. Actually, I I don't I don't realize iOS getting slower. I don't think iPhones do get slower anymore. So much more. You got loads more. So you got Apple Arcade and you got all this and the cycle tracking in uh health app. Just like on the Apple Watch. So you got Apple Arcade voice control. Control your phone, iPhone just with your voice, as I, should, as I said in the Mac video. Text formatting tools in mail and new and improved notes. So a more personalised health app and improved start page in Safari. More advanced files app, ARKit 3 and font management so you can create beautiful documents and whatever. Install fonts and smarter ways to share. So it's got the new share sheet as well. So your full list of what's new in iOS 13. No, I'm alright. So iOS 13 is compatible with the iPhone 10s, 10 10s 10 Max, 10R, 10, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, SE, and iPod Touch 7th generation. So the the only devices being dropped off is the iPhone 5S, which was actually supposed to get dropped off last year. And the iPhone 6, which was actually supposed to get dropped off this year as well. So, um, the iPhone 5S got an extra year of support. And as you can see, there's more devices. The Apple supports devices for five years. Android, you only get around two years of support. So, it, to me, it doesn't matter about iPhone's extra price because they're worth it. Android prices, Android prices are rising, so... Why should you pay the same? Why should you pay so much money for an Android device, around the same price as an iPhone, that will last you two years, and is not as good, and when you can get an iPhone, which will last you five years and is much better than Android, as we all know. So that's it, guys. Alice Tech. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.